the seeds. This is how you'd be a singer from the 80s, is bit edgy. <laughs> I'm so sad. That's the <laughs> I've become so numb, I can feel you there. I've become so tired, sick and tired of James. His dad. <laughs> Good afternoon, morning, evening or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Major Podcast. I am your host for this show, episode... 278 278 and today is just the usual three of us nothing new nothing old nothing sideways around here we are a very sideways show (laughs) (laughs) nice we've got some pretty interesting topics today that are going to be they're going to rivet you to your chair you're going to be sucked in exposed to the humour that we're going to unleash upon the world and it's going to change the internet forever. Instagram is not going to handle it. TikTok's not going to handle it. YouTube, no chance. Mm. Joe Rogan, though, he's going to he's going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jordan? Oh, Jordan, my, my man, Beef Peterson. <laughs> Um, no, I'm getting along with him now. So he might he might be okay with it. Not too sure. Did you squash the beef? Yeah, we squashed <laughs> the beef. Jordan's beef. Is that the name of this one? No, it, the this, the name of this one is Beef Peterson's. <laughs> Beef's Peter son. Beef Peter son. Son Peter Beef. Uh, uh. Um, who's here then? Me! Oh, and I'll just shout out a little old me over here. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's all three. And before we go into the show, James is going to say a special little one. A big shout out to our Patreons over at Patreon for supporting the show and making, you know, everything you see possible. New angles, new crazy new moments. <laughs> We've got them all. Thank you for the patrons. Uh, there's some audio versions <laughs> available. New angles, <laughs> new, new crazies. I agree with the angles and the crazies. <laughs> you can catch us over at any of your favourite audio websites, be it Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, Podbean. We are there, and that is possible because of the lovely help of our <laughs> jarlings over at Patreon. I love that it's Podbean. Pod bean. I had to have bean in there. Well, which wouldn't be a bean without a pod, brother. <laughs> James, why are you being so rude? <laughs> I'm not being rude. I'm never rude. I'm like the the <laughs> the, the the nicest The nicest angle yet. Nicest angle yet. I can be your 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 angle? Or your angle. Oh, I see what you're saying. Guys, let's stop messing around. <clears throat> let's be serious. Okay. Right? Okay. Because we got some serious stuff to be talking about over here. Yeah. we got some cleaning up to do. we got some conversations we got to wrap up from the previous episode in the housekeeping segment. Um, and it's quite a chunk of <clears throat> I've got to say. Jesus. Disgusting. I'm sorry, you can edit that out. No, I can't. Not no, you're editing that time. out. I can't have people thinking that I'm a bit of a disgusting man, okay? Hey, <laughs> hey, too late. <laughs> um, I guess to start... <laughs> start housekeeping, um, I want to shout out a couple of jarlings I met in the flesh the other day. Um, I went to Bristol and saw the band TV Girl. Um, and there were two jarlings there that I interacted with. The first one being Jamie, who, um... I wasn't there, you idiot. <laughs> he, uh, he bought me a drink, which was nice of him. Yeah, that, yeah, um, unlike our Jamie. But then immediately after, like, I walked away and started drinking it, I was like, I started feeling really bad, because, um, he mentioned he was, like, a first-year student, so, like, <laughs> <laughs> and drinks in, like, venues like that are really expensive. So, um, thanks for that, Jamie. Um, You're welcome. And the other jarling was, was called Jay. And um, I, was, I was having a little chat with him. I was like, oh, is he a big fan of TV Girl then? And he was like, no. 
I was like, what, what do you mean? Why was he there? <laughs> was he following me? I, 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 I was like, I had asked him again. I was like, what, what do you mean? You, well, you don't like TV Girl? He was like, no. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, bear, bear, and walked away. <laughs> you know what? I, th- I like that. I like that. I respect that. But Jay also, he actually... Jay? No, Jay. He oh. also. Um, he commented on the the idea we brought up many episodes ago for what Jarlings should mention um, if they see us in the flesh and they're not sure what to say between the normal and curry debate. So he, Jay weighed his vote in. And mm. g- can you guess what which episode he... Normal. Jim? Curry. Normal. Good. That's our first vote for normal. I can't remember, James. Are you anti... You anti curry? I am anti curry. No, you're looking... you're pro curry. You hate normal. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I know. I think having look looking back at curry and normal now, like normal is a masterpiece, and curry is an absolute mess that became a masterpiece. But one is by design. One is by incompetence. <laughs> so the That's one, a good way of putting it. <laughs> one, the one by design will always be better than the one by incompetence. Mm. Um, and I witnessed something really embarrassing. Um, I told you guys this little anecdote already, but it, it bear bears repeating. Um, I was like in the crowd and these, it was like halfway through the set or whatever, these two like guys barged their way close to the front. One of them uh, dueling in the venue, um, pissing everyone off. One of them had a girlfriend, the other one didn't. And the one who didn't like started trying to hit on this random girl that was there. He, uh, he like tapped on her shoulder and went, um, oh, Peng Ting, Peng Ting. <laughs> and she turned around and looked him square in the face and just said, no. And that was that. To be honest. That's, that, that, that's bad bitch behavior. That is absolute bad bitch behavior. It was, it was really embarrassing. Yeah. Peng Ting. That's, is, that's uh, instantly like red flag. Like that's well, it. That I is mean, a no in every, every situation. If that's all you got. If there was like a stinky, kind of smelly fart stranger who, who prodded you on the sh- shoulder and jeweled in your face and went ping ting, what would you say? <laughs> I'd say, me, Peng? Oh. I'm not sure about Ting, though. I'd simply just kick him in the balls. <laughs> then get done for assault. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just call the police on you. <laughs> what would you do if if we if if you'd never met me, James? Yeah, and I walk up to you and grab you by the shoulder and say "peng ting." No, by the waist. Yeah, yeah. I sneak up behind you when you're at home alone and grab you by the waist <laughs> and say "peng ting, peng ting." What do you do? I think then that it's justified to smack you in the balls. <laughs> yeah, that, I think. Yeah. No, but you invited me over. Oh, okay. Well, but then how? But you'd you... never met me before. <laughs> Oh, so you're like a a, a, a on Craig's. I'm from Craigslist. What was the ad? Um, I'm selling a Toya to Salika. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there to. I'm in your house to do the paperwork, <laughs> and I sneak up behind you, grab you by the waist, and say painting. He does it. Yeah, one of those hugs like from behind that goes <laughs> your <own> waist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whispers in your ear, painting, P- painting, painting. And I'm just saying, well, if you have the price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's clean up some conversations then. Just like oh. Maxi Rondo is going to get us going here. Just thought I'd mention this about pissing in public pools. When I was around mm. three or four, I was with my family in a resort in France. It was one of the first times I'd ever been in a pool, so I asked my mum if I could have a piss in there because I really had to go. Once she said yes, I got out, pulled my pants down, and without hesitation started letting it all go, <laughs> with the whole pool watching. I'm saying this now as I quite literally have no recollection of it, recollection of it. Sorry, as my family are the ones who remind me of this catastrophic event that I must have repressed from my memory. Needless to say, I established my sigma dominance that day. That that is actually, that is completely establishing your complete control and dominance of the entire pool and everyone there. There's no move as Chad as that, because that means all the people are going to be swimming in your piss. No, but everyone's already swimming in everyone's yeah, piss. It's just you're kind just of the saying deal. that, like... You're making it clear that, yeah, th- that yeah. they are. You're not hiding that your piss is part of the pool. Yeah. The gene pool. 
<laughs> Jim, do you have the, do you remember um when we went to New Zealand when uh I was like 12 and you would have been like 9, I guess. I was 7 when we went to New Zealand, I believe. You you had just turned 11, I think. Oh, was I that young? I get yeah, I guess you're right. Um you wouldn't have you been remember 7 then. It was Alex's 11th birthday on the flight. That's right. So you Alex seven. was 11 and I was 7. 11-7, seven, that's 7-11, seven, yeah, seven easy 11. way to remember it. Um, but do you remember, we were like watching like family videos or something, and one of them was of me, I must have been like three years old, and it was a similarly embarrassing kind of thing where like, my dick was out, and I was mm. like doing some kind of dance. <laughs> the piss <the> dick <laughs> And everyone was just like <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I hate that shit It's horrible Yeah it's like what I was three dude Yeah why do we film Like it's since the invention of cameras It's been like Oh let's film the The, the, the thing that literally can't consent <laughs> and we'll have them And we'll not have any memory Of said <laughs> yeah. thing But everyone can still laugh at them yeah, I, I wish I knew in better detail what I was doing in that video. I, I think I was like running around the garden, like, yeah, with no like bottom half. Like, I think I like did a pee or a poo on in the garden or something. Was that? I know there was a story. So not much you, has changed. <laughs> yeah, you'd run around the garden though and shit, and the the two dogs our parents had um, would like run. Like following you around, waiting for the shit. <laughs> and be like, the baby, the baby yeah. droppings. Uh, Oscarman97 says, I'll be buying Bear Bear merch for my whole family. Thanks, Joe. Don't, don't, don't buy Just a reminder. Don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't, don't do it. <laughs> wait. <laughs> You're such a twat. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait for the new line. That includes. This is the new line. <laughs> yeah, this is the bear bear. The the new additions to the new line. Like, <laughs> don't um, wait. Get bear bear. <laughs> Bye bear bear. <laughs> yeah, well, bear bear. Remember that? Well, you should wait for reasons. <laughs> James actually loves bear bear, and I hate that he pretends that he doesn't like. What, it. what do you mean I love it? When do I ever show you were genuine bear affection for like twenty minutes before we started? Bear bear. Yeah, you've got your own version of it and everything. No, no, I do it to piss off Argy. I don't do it for any <laughs> other reason. <laughs> Old man diabetes says James is talking about power levels. Genuinely had me laugh like a fool while at work. You boys make Mondays at work bear bearable. Love you all. <laughs> Nicole Nefat says this is the only podcast I listen regularly. Feels like a bunch of friends chilling on the couch while I do shit around the house. I like to fall asleep listening to you because your voices are so soothing. <laughs> oh. Love from uh, Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calming, is it? <laughs> well, no, it should be like with someone's ASMR. Because that's what ASMR is used for, is to mm. basically sleep to. It's what I use. So we are, and we are, we, we are the only ASMR podcast on YouTube. The only one. So true, the only single one. And the, the number one text po toy podcast. Don't, don't <laughs> forget, <laughs> forget that. I completely forgot about that arc of Jar. Yeah, that, the that's the whole timeline. Arc. Yeah, that was the flashlight arc. <laughs> Which was concluded with a nice full stop once we actually got the like message from Flashlight. We never responded to them, but... We never got a message. No, I thought I thought we did. Yeah, we did. No, we did. No, we did, but I just never noticed it or replied to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. still on flashlight though for not trying hard enough to get on. Yeah. On no, flashlight. but it's a thing. There's like the the car car banana, the the, 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 the shreddies car banana. Oh yeah, we've they, got that somewhere. We got we've That's got in it. The like PO box pile. And <laughs> they they messaged us like months ago, like, "Hey, did you get the car, Nana?" <laughs> we just never replied. <laughs> we should. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. We are like the worst sponsorship people because we just forget. <laughs> um, great. That doesn't mean don't sponsor us. Yeah, it does. Do sponsor us. We just might not reply. Spon yeah, sponsor us and give us money, but. It with no obligation to actually sp <laughs> to be fair um, with the car banana one where there was no contract or anything yeah they, yeah, just, they just sent it yeah we gave them publicity and they gave well, us it's, something it's back. an interest it's a like weird product it's like 
like a imagine a banana, like a gone off banana that's gone black. It's like it looks like that, and, and you're you supposed to it. put it in your underwear between no, you, your no, ass. You're supposed to actually squeeze it between your ass cheeks on a car journey to stop <laughs> leakage. <laughs> James actually needs that. No, but are you saying <laughs> yeah. I'm getting leakage? Yes, with the smell that erupts from the no, car. No, you, you you portray me as like this this gross, disgusting animal. I have <laughs> some shitty farts every so often. Doesn't mean I'm disgusting. Jamie has worse ones, though. No, I don't. I don't shit myself. You have... Did we talk about your shit yourself story on the cast? Which one? You had one, I swear, <laughs> recently. You had one recently. No, I didn't. When did, when did I have you one? You shit yourself, like, two days ago. <laughs> no, <Yeah. I> <laughs> did no. You, no, be on. Did you actually? No, I didn't. I didn't. I told this to Jim that uh, after, <laughs> after that, I didn't shit for, like, a good day. Because you shit in your pants. <laughs> no, I did. no, I generally didn't. Because I got home and I went to go do a shit, but nothing came out. Isn't it, it weird when pants? it feels like a massive shit has come out, but it's like a, a little thing the size of, like, your thumb? A tiny nug, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. It's less satisfying. No, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great Overlord Chicken Master says, I'm American and can name five places from the UK. Swindon? The Magic Roundabout? The Dream Lounge, doesn't count, doesn't Alex's count. house, doesn't count. James's secret mass grave. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, you don't know the location of the mass grave, to be honest. <laughs> All of those places were in Swindon as well. Yeah. Pineapple on pizza said this jar. I hope you're all doing well. This is a jarling all the way in New York City. Just no. Yeah, man. Just beat my first bear bear boss fight in Elden Ring, the Tree Sentinel, as a mage after buying the game. During all the stress, I was laughing along to your review of Madagascar 2. I'll say this game is already crushing, sorry, causing me great stress, pain, and huge headaches. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Speaking of New York City, I recommend traveling here if you ever visit the United States. It's extremely diverse, and the people aren't as bad as others make them out to be, except the drivers. Additionally, I think it would be absolutely hilarious to hear all of you complain about driving there. Keep up all the laughs, loves. No, I think I'd probably enjoy driving there. Why? Within the city. Isn't it like notoriously awful? Yeah, it's notoriously <laughs> yes, really awful. But I I would get pleasure out of driving if I was in a car that was obnoxious to everyone. Cause then it's like I'm in a traffic I'm stuck in traffic, but if I'm bouncing my car off the rev limiter while doing it, it's fun. Cause okay. then it make makes everyone else's day worse. It's like, you know, I'm I'm getting my my, my bit back. Some anarchist behaviour right there, yeah. Joker James. Uh, James Stanley said this. What does Alex make of the chocobos from Final Fantasy? They're kind of based on terror birds, but they're more like a Dibby version. Um, it depends on the version we're talking about. Um, I don't, I've always been quite fond of chocobos, if I'm being totally honest. But not the Dibby version. What one's... Okay, you know, there's yeah. a spin-off Final Fantasy games with, like, the Dibby version of chocobos doing uh, that. Isn't, thing. like, everything a chibis in those... Um, sometimes there's like Final Fantasy Chibis or Chibis. Um, so what about uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen? Those chocobos. Those were they're... just. Those are kind of cool. They were just Awful. like terror birds. Awful. Oh, there there was actually a Dibby chocobo in that game. Mm -hmm. There was, yeah. In the man's hair. Yeah, in the man's hair. I yeah. kind of love that Dibby. Really? Yeah, I do. I I love Final Fantasy Thirteen. <laughs> it's like cemented in like Jar Law as well. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's being terrible. It's not terrible though. The gameplay is solid, and the soundtrack is absolutely bussing. <laughs> the soundtrack is actually really good. It's probably the best the thing. The soundtrack is good, but the gameplay isn't. And no, the gameplay is good. No, it's not. Oh, I don't like turn-based stuff because it's too. It's not turn-based. They, they, it they, kind, it's hybrid. No, the Final Fantasy games spent like all this time being like, right, how how do we make it so turn-based combat we can like have it in real time? <laughs> it's, like, it's like no, so it just. Be you, what you are. No, you agree with me that that, ge that the gameplay of Final Fantasy XIII is good. It Eventually, is it, yeah, it grows depth, but the pa it's like just pacing is awful. Yeah, the pacing is terrible. Yeah, it doesn't like the gameplay doesn't get enough depth. It's a to very no unengaging like combat system. I just no, only, yeah for the first like twenty hours, and that's a pacing thing. Like the actual yeah, the 20, design of the system hours. is good. Like when you actually get in depth into it. Where, when is that? Yeah, like 20 hours in. <laughs> no, but you're going to have to... I remember every campaign part of that game. Well, I don't. 
Because <laughs> there's there's the part where it gets open world when it's just loads of yeah. fields. That's the worst part of the game. Because then then after that is the horrible difficulty spike. You need to go to the street race in the city. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weird game. It's a bizarre game. And it's bad. Like, if you've never played it, don't. Yeah, don't play it. <laughs> uh, Jordan left something in response to something James said about firefighters. I looked into what James said about firefighters in the US, and it seems that the situation of firefighters not stopping a fire because they haven't been paid has only been documented one time as far as I can tell, but it's quite terrible. The fire took place in a rural area of Tennessee 12 years ago. The family called the fire department when their house caught on fire, but they wouldn't come until they paid the $75 that was required. The firefighters only came when the fire spread to a neighbor's house who then paid the 75. The firefighters only extinguished the fire on the neighbor's property and made sure it didn't spread, but let the poor family's house burn down with a dog inside the house as well. Three dogs and two cats. When this happened, it caused a huge uproar, and the mayor of the town justified the fire department's decision by saying fire coverage is like car insurance, he said. You don't pay it when you have a wreck, you pay it beforehand. The responsibility lies with the landowner. That's the problem today. You don't want to be responsible for nothing anymore. Nobody does. The firefighters would have been fired for misuse of county property, and if any of them were injured, they may not have gotten workman's comp. If any of them died, then their families also may not have been eligible for insurance payments through their employer. Definitely isn't right to say that it's a thing that happens in the US since it's only happened once, and it really would only happen in excessively rural areas. The vast majority of US counties have fire service paid for at the local level. Some places are just too isolated for it to be plausible. Still doesn't make the firefighter's decision right, but they had their reasons. But it's still like, that should never even be a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Ever. messed up. You shouldn't have to pay your local fee and that if you forget, you could lose everything. That's just ridiculous. And there was one other firefighter comment from Ghost of Onyx 2. I read all the Halo books when I was younger, but slowly fell out of love with the franchise as the power creep in the lore got ridiculous. Most firefighters have a second or fiddle job. We work for 12-hour shifts and then have four days off. The pay in the UK isn't great, so most people use these extra days to work. Love the cast. Keep it up. Dirk McThermott said, Pistol equals a gun designed to be used with one hand. All revolvers are pistols, not all pistols are revolvers. Boom, boom, <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. That's a boom, boom. Okay. Gang, 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 gang. okay. The final Explain one. the difference between clip and magazine. A magazine holds bullets. Clip goes, <laughs> magazine goes, yeah, that's perfect, bro. That is the perfect definition. <laughs> no, a clip is like a little clip of bullets, whereas a magazine is like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's end this segment on this one from Badgecast. You boys chatting about Obi-Wan reminds me of one of my biggest problems I have with Star Wars fans, and to a lesser extent, stuff made with them as a focal point, and that they think more about Star Wars as a setting than any of the creators, going all the way back to George Lucas ever did. Star Wars wasn't built to be dissected. It's built to be a setting that... Rep that presents a hybrid a kid might come up with when playing with their toys. It's a western samurai World War II movie in space starring space wizards, and it's fucking awesome. That doesn't mean people can't come up with in-depth, interesting, and congruous stories within the setting, but it does mean that whenever someone is talking about how this or that scene is unrealistic, they're missing the forest for the trees. X-Wings have wings, even though they objectively don't need them for space or in atmosphere travel, they're VTOLs and have no visible thrusters on the underside, but they have wings because they're meant to look like cool space World War II fighter planes, and it's awesome. I haven't seen Obi-Wan and probably won't, but I do hope they don't let the nostalgic fans override interesting ideas. The Mandalorian does have a lot of cool stuff with established, already established lore, i.e. Mandalorian's The Force, but aside from Tatooine baiting, it doesn't really go in on the, on the nostalgia and it's a great time. Boba Fett returning as a side thing is fun, but then it just makes me realise that Boba Fett is lame and was only ever made cool by expanded universe content. He's pretty much a background character. And Din Jarjin <laughs> is basically working with the same material to make something way better. Also, the prequels are dog shit, but you can still work with their contents to make interesting stuff. Clone Wars, Fallen Order, etc. It's all about how the material is used. Best Star Wars movie is the one that is an actual World War II movie. All of them. Um, what, no, Gambusters? Well, yes. Attack of the Clones is a pretty cool one. I like that one, no, but I kind of like. I like the... that one, but 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 this this just reinforces my point about the sequels. Well, they're bad it? stories. Mm. 
Yeah. So like, uh, there's there's nothing to work with there. Yeah. I'm right with you, bro. We've got a couple topics. The first being, um, The Rock is finally changing superheroes. Finally. Well, what superheroes? He's changing. He? I think I can't remember the exact word. I mean, it's something like the superhero paradigm is about to shift. Just like Final Fantasy Thirteen. Just like Final Fantasy Thirteen. Superhero power dim. This is Black Adam. Uh, we watched the trailer. Fight and... against the dying of the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it looks terrible. Um, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't. I think I'm. I'm getting some feelings in my heart that I might actually love this, this one. This might be the next Eternals sort of tier movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's just the Rock. He's no, so, but he's so bad, bad and he now. can't play. I thought Black Adam was like a villain. He's bad now, Alex. No, but it, it, the, the dialogue was like alluding that it's going to be yet another anti-hero who's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a really unique hero who like kind of kills people sometimes. Mm. We've never seen this before. Yeah. You know, this is the start of the walk change. You know, he his character in Red Notice. You know, he subverted expectations, and he's going to do the same with Black Adam. And I'm I'm really here for it. I think there's going to be a a shift in the superior power digum. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jim? I'm I'm kind of with James there. Like, we need to see the the duality of the Rock. You know, and I think mm. Black Adam is going to be a step towards his perhaps more eviler side I, I don't really know anything about black adam is he like has he got like a shazam hook where he's like he a, is a shazam kid? but villain but is, is there like a child who then turns into the adult that whole thing no he's just always villain so he's just the, he's just the rock yeah, he's no, just no 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 he's not the rock he's the rock but cooler <laughs> yeah he's the cooler rock um yeah it looks really cool is there any is, is it is there going to be a movie where Shazam fights The Rock? Yeah. It's part of the Shazam Rock universe. Is is Shazam in the Robert Pattinson universe? Or is he in the Joker universe? Or is he in the Suicide Squad universe? Well, no, because I don't think the Pattinson and universe is, is in any of them. And is the Birds of Prey universe in the Suicide Squad universe? And is the, su the new Suicide Squad universe by James Gunn, is that in the... Um, Ezra universe? Miller universe? Yeah, that's that's specifically in the Ezra Miller Batman movie, which is um, also going to be a beauty. Apparently he's like on the run and they can't find him. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> See, if they just fucking caught him before he made a one -er, you know? How, how would you catch him? He's so far. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that is Why do you power. think they got him to play the character? That is his main power, I guess, huh? Ha. Yeah. Whatever. I got something disturbing to tell you guys. Okay. Um, like m many months ago, we mentioned um, Jim had sleep paralysis, and now it's my turn to tell my story because I had it and it was horrible. Um, yeah, bro, I'm I'm shaking already. You you got to tell me. So my <clears throat> my experience was, I was asleep in beddy buys, <laughs> just having a, a gay old time. Um, yeah. and then it, it feels like someone comes into my bedroom, like a human. Features, but, what do they look like? You know, walk, well, that was the walk. thing, like, I couldn't move my body, I could, like, observe... A, Were you the facing rumor. the door? No, I think I was on my side. Yeah, I was, like, on my side, on my right side, so I could only see, like, the wall and just, like, a bit in the peripheral. Oh, of, like, a figure walking in up to the side of me. But because of the angle I was, like, locked into, I couldn't see anything above, like, the torso. So I couldn't see any face mm. or anything. Um, and I had the same thing you said about the heart just going absolutely insane. And it took, like, a little second to realize, oh, this, like, isn't real. Because <laughs> it feels like just real. It feels like it's happening. So when you, yeah. re when you realized it was real, did the demon go away? I guess after I was, like, able to break it down in my head, I was able to, like, get out of it. Um, what did you do to get out? Did, did you wake up right after as well? Yeah. And you, you, like, got up from the position you had your dream in? Yeah. And to be honest, I I can't actually pinpoint the moment where, like, it stopped yeah, being, like, yeah. dream state. Which was dream state? Was which... your door open? 
Um, I don't think so. Then how did it come through the door? Well, you didn't see the door. Well, because of where I was lying, it was just coming from the direction of where the door is. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And like the, it just feels like it's happening. Like the sounds and everything, like it just, uh, it sounded like someone coming up the stairs and coming in. And then just being there. Yeah, that's fucking yeah v- vivid and horrible. Oh, Did you, um, try and control your breathing? After I realized what was going on, yeah. Then it was like, okay, let's try and calm down now, because this is, it's like four in the morning or something. See, that was kind of the opposite of my tactic to get out of it. Mm. Because I couldn't, like, move. Mm. I thought by breathing, because that, that was something I could control. Yeah. So I, I'd, I did it to kind of, like, hyperventilate and... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it it felt like it would give me some control, and to the point where I was like making my body wheeze with how hard I was breathing. Mm-hmm. I can I can like remember the sound I was making, but not how it felt. It's weird because you're like totally numb. Yeah, I actually I just remembered another messed up detail. Um, I'm pretty sure I shouted for help. Hmm. Um, or thought I did. I don't know yeah, if I yeah. actually did. Yeah, that's what I was like trying to do, but I couldn't. I couldn't move my mouth and speak, so I was yeah. making my body wheeze by breathing, mm-hmm. like trying to scream. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know which. Yours sounds a bit scarier to me with like the floating thing. <laughs> it was really fucking scary, but I mean, equally, the more grounded nature of yours kind of makes. Like, it can be scary. Yeah. On. Yeah, true. I'd, I mean, I'd say they're equally as scary. Yeah, I've been having some wacky dreams lately. It's but, I mean, the the, th- the things I've heard, the more common ones, sound way more scary than both of ours. Really? Well, well, I did some research onto this because Alex said that it happened. So, I kind of was just like, okay, well, let's just go do a quick Google and see what, like, what the consensus is on what the cause is. And it's, like, stuff like laying on your back. If you lay on your back correctly, it's like you're more likely to get it. And one of the things was genetics, was like a, a factoring in, into why you, mm-hmm. you, you experiencing it. It's like one third of people experience it, the other two thirds don't. Mm. So the fact that you two have both experienced mm. it and related, it kind of makes sense to me that you know why that is the case. Because I've never, I've never experienced it yet. Horrified of experiencing it. Yeah, it definitely wasn't pleasant, and I wouldn't want to have that again. But what what's like the what, what's the one that you've said that people experience? Um, like if you wake up and you're looking at a wall, you can see like a face coming out of the wall, Ew. like towards you. And a really common one people get is like a, a gross-looking, really old woman. If you're lying on your back, like sat on your chest, looking down. Mm. I think I've heard of something like that before. Yeah. Specifically about like something pushing down on your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it's just weird that a lot of the descriptions of like figures and stuff that people see are really similar. Like a- an old woman is apparently really common, and like the way she's described in a-, a lot of cases, it's like the same thing. It's really weird. A ghost. Not a yeah. ghost. It's like a thing. But also, it's still. It still caters to you. It's your paralysis demon. The one you experience is kind of unique to you. So nah. if people have unique ones, I think it's I, one of those things where people think they had that one when they might not have. No, I, I think um, everyone's got an amygdala, you know? And uh, it's just a little nugget of brain, right? Mm. Um, Secreting some. Yeah, it just secretes some... And then suddenly you're seeing an old lady sitting on your chest, you know? Because there, there's, like, different kinds of paralysis, like uh, sleep paralysis, and there's, like, there's some that it isn't... There's an overlap in them, but sometimes you don't get the overlap. So you might get one of the... the just the chest thing about the seeing. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's... It was, it's fast. I want to know the scientific proof of what the fuck it is and what's going on with it. Because it's like, I've had like panic attacks at night that I, I like feel like I've done stuff like screaming for help and trying to get doors open. Mm. 
but then nobody ever, 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 no one else remembers them. But I did that. That's how real it feels. Yeah, they that happened, but then nobody else did. So what is that? Because if I was screaming for help, trying to slam doors but open, you, you, surely it would have woke someone up. But they, it wasn't. They, they had no idea. So but like, dream, what is dream that? Dream state is a weird thing because when you f find yourself like drifting off to sleep, you know that you get it's that REM thing. REM sleep. Hmm? Rapid eye movement sleep. Yeah. Mm. That's what is what is the the like during sleep paralysis is because of REM sleep, where your brain is going into yeah, deeper yeah. sleep and it's the yeah. transition phase. Yeah. But you. you it, it's that same feeling. It's much more tranquil on the front end when you're going to sleep. And you kind of catch yourself dreaming. Even though you're still awake. Like you could sit up and go get a drink or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you are in a dream state and you kind of don't want to leave it. But when it's waking up, it's like reversed. You're in the dream state but you can't leave it. And your I body don't. has to like catch up. It's I really freaky. That. I mean, I don't have it. I've had it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's terrifying. It's really freaky. I keep having these, like, weird, like, looping dreams where I feel like I'm stuck in this, like, horrible nightmare loop. Like, one I mm. had the other week was, um... You know, like, those, like, kid playgrounds that are in, like, warehouses, like, Boomerang or whatever? Yeah, yeah, The, like, yeah. padded foam. Mm -hmm. I was in, like, one of those, but it was, like, a maze and I was like on top of it. So I could look down into the maze and down in the maze were these two women that were like relentlessly trying to get to me and they were like climbing up the sides. And no matter Ooh. how many times I was like grabbing them and throwing them down, they would like keep coming and climbing and they were like screaming this like really demented shit at me. Um, like, uh, yeah, I'm dead already, like shit, Whoa. this kind of, and I was like, it felt like just an eternal loop that I was just mm. like stuck in and it felt like real as well. Yeah, those kind of dreams are just, <laughs> just so fucking eldritch. Ugh. See, like I think the way to like avoid sleep paralysis demons is just to be like extremely traumatized. Because <laughs> <What? laughs> it's like my trauma re experiences in my dreams kind of are the sleep paralysis. Because they're the reoccurring thing that I have that. I'm not going to get sleep paralysis because the demons in my dreams are ready, you know? No, that's not how it works at all. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen, bro. I'm never going to get it. I'm going to be safe. And if I go and try and get it, I'm going to fucking cry. Well, you think you'll be crying, but you'll actually just be paralyzed. <gasps> but the, uh, something I remember from my sleep know, paralysis. Do you know what? Do you know what, though? I hope my sweet sleep paralysis is giant Argy. Because I'll be the only person in history to wake up completely in the sleep paralysis. Because it's like, it's Argy, so I've got to fight. I've got to fucking go for it. <laughs> All you got to do is just go, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Instantly defeated. Yeah, you know, fucking like kill me. I'll actually die in my sleep paralysis because you'll get, you'll, you'll have a turn. sleep paralysis demon is the, the suck job ghost from Ghostbusters. Oh, well, I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Manifest that. Man, I had the best sleep paralysis last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every morning you wake up like, well, hey, it's time for a fresh day. <laughs> like, surely, no, surely, though, that your sleep paralysis demon is, is something specific. Like, I, I think No, that. I don't think so. Because, well, like, what like, was my one? Like, how? what was that specific? Is that just manifesting? No, because you've always of, been like, bothered of intruders. Yeah. Th that's a thing you've a constant fear you've had. Mm. So that's why this was an intruder. But then the intruder thing is like a, a common sleep paralysis thing. So maybe, no, I, I think... I as, like the idea of it being unique to you. I kind of like that idea, but I guess that's not the it's case. Not, it's not a, a fucking Wingardium Leviosa Oh, your thing. Patronus. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want Patronus. my Patronus. <laughs> <laughs> my Patronus is a fucking zombie woman who's coming to get me. <laughs> no, like, why would, why would mine be a floating Dementor from Harry Potter? That's actually how J.K. Uh, Rao Lao came up with it. All of her ideas you think? was just in. Sleep she paralysis. stole my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> my sleep paralysis demon is personal to me. Can we get the jar lawyer on that, please? <laughs> no, because um, like, uh, what what people are afraid of, mm. the there's a lot of overlap. Yeah. What is scary, is like innately scary. When you see a spider, you don't have a thought process that's like, 
Hmm. I, I wonder if this spider in particular, like, wants to cause malice. It's like, no, this thing looks scary, so my brain is mm. causing the a response. no, because spiders are just minding their own, you know? Well, yeah, but I'm, I, I'm just using an, an example. Like, you see a, a, a scary thing, your body gets scared. Yeah, like, um, I saw that horror movie Men the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and I was relating to parts of it with, like, um, the main character goes on, like, a retreat to, like, a rural area in the middle of nowhere and goes for, like, a walk in the woods. Mm. Very much like the woods I'd often, like, take the dogs into and stuff. And when she's, like, out there secluded by herself, there's just, like, this person that just starts, like, tailing her. Mm. Which is, like, such a frightening idea to okay, me. Okay, yeah, what yeah, do you yeah. mean by... Wh wh how is it detailed in the movie? She goes... She's having, like, an awesome time just, like, exploring. Um, she, like, lives in London and she moves out on this little retreat to yeah, like, yeah. try and reset. She finds this, like, tunnel... You know, like abandoned railway mm. tunnel, and she's yeah, going common. and like enjoying the echoes or whatever. And in the like silhouette of the end of the tunnel, like a figure stands up after she's like Ooh. done playing, and then it like starts walking and like running towards her. Do they detail this figure at all? Yeah. Then the, then the like the the story evolves or whatever, and it keeps moving. Because um, you know, it's a one thing I've had a common thing in my dreams, and I've had this for like ten a decade now. Faceless men. Fully detailed person, but you can't see their face. Just mm. undetailed. That, yeah, that was kind of like but what then my it's like, sleep paralysis got. In all my dreams, they trail me. They follow me. And I can't escape them. And if I, f I can be in a dream and fly around the world for days, they're always there. Always there. It's what Edgar Wright tried to do in, his, in uh, Last Night in Soho. They kind of tried to do that, but it's not very scary. So it's like whenever I see those figures in my dream, I'm like, oh, fuck, something bad is going to happen in my life. And it's like, does bad happen in my life? Mm -hmm. Every time if those fuckers come, I'm in for a bad time. It's weird. But I think the faceless men thing is like a common like nightmare thing. Yeah, I like think that's a common faces. sleep paralysis thing. Yeah, yeah. It? It's, it's, just... it's just like that's why masks are scary because you can't read an emotion. Mm -hmm. So you've you've got no idea of intent. That's why people find clowns scary and like mm. masked things. It is like. Freaky. Yeah. Brain go. Brain go. <laughs> we'll see you after these messages. Bye, bear, bear. Bye, bear, bear. I do declare yeah. bye, bear, bear. <laughs> bear, bear shirts and mug available now. Check the description below. You know, I literally bought a whole crate of tropical in Yeah, but this is tropical. Can I have a sip? Can I try a sip? Yeah. Everyone try a sip. Oh, can I have a little sip? Go on, have a sip. You know what? You guys can have a gulp. I don't really. like it. I can have a gulp. Oh, Ooh, that smells very citrusy. I'm definitely having a gulp of that. Nice. Opinions? Yeah, refreshing. Oh. You said you didn't even like it. No, it's terrible. Not nice. <laughs> Aftertaste, not good. Welcome to the second half of the cast where we answer questions from the Jar Media subreddit. Head over there to the suggestion thread and ask us whatever you feel like. Just like Moon Man lives in a house, did. Will we still see a jumper, parenthesis J, review? Yeah. Um, if you have any requests for any specific videos, tell Jamie. Message him direct on his Twitter, because yeah. he's the reason we haven't been able to record anything. Ooh. I love it when James lies. <laughs> okay, Mr. Busy, 24 hours a day. No air, so I live inside my farts, said this. There be bear bears in there, but I don't wish to stare, jar boys. What is with your refusal to talk about your favorite Martian's return? How can you call yourselves jar media if you don't cover one of the biggest media events of our generation? Judging from the singles, this upcoming album has the potential to rival Sgt. Pepper's in terms of concept, influence, cultural impact, and sheer quality. Not only is it a return to the deep character-based storytelling YFM is known for, Ray has also brought forth the cutting-edge production, improved lyricism, and in intricate melodies he has developed over his... <gasps> what the fuck? 
the fuck just happened? What was that? I know your fat, dumb truck ass is breaking our set. I can't remember we were on the comment, but we just had technical difficulties because, like, the sofa, just one of the legs just snapped. Yeah, James was um, attempting to twerk and brapping at the same time. And it just. Yeah, that's probably got to be a new jar rule. No more twerking on the sofas, guys. Mm. Fuck. I'm now thinking about demons. Um, but we got to get back to this anyway. Uh, improved lyricism and intricate melodies he has developed over his solo career and work with the Upside Downs. Obviously that means James hates it, but what do the other two boy bears think? Thanks and be aware. Um, we can do a little live reaction, I reckon. No, can we not? No, let's just see what, what it's like. What copyright says? It's Orphan Tears 2. Um, I'll just have it kind of in the background a little bit, just for a second. Uh, back. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that one. Thoughts? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pockers? I like it. It's more like just dropped acid in the club. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think of the third wave? Um. Revision of the the art style most epic yet cleanest yeah cleanest um, cleanest um, <laughs> cleanest You can really see an evolution, you know, yeah, but mostly in the the production, you know the it's some um, crispy It's full raw, of features It's feature filled. It's crispy it's there's like an audible crisp almost to it. Was 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 Orphan Tears like one of the fan favorite ones? Sip sip it sipping was, on Orphan Tears. It was the first ever one, wasn't it? I thought the zombie like gorillas rip off one was the first one. They're all gorillas rip off. <laughs> <laughs> sip sip sipping on Orgy's tears. Um. So yeah, I'm hyped to see where it goes, and I think the Sergeant Pepper comparison is pretty apt. Meme Lover 26 has this to say. Dear lovely jar boys, I couldn't help but notice the, the Twitter at remains to be four funnies, and with recent developments making it so there are only three funnies remaining. I'm just curious if this is permanent. Thank you, and I do declare, bear bear. What's Wandy? Is he not a funny? Nah, he's definitely not a funny. He's a fucker. Yeah. Well, call it three funnies and a fucker. <laughs> at three funnies and a fucker. See, I would change it, but the only thing is we've got, like... So many episodes with the app for funnies in the background. Yeah, true. It seems like a waste to change it. What would we change it to? Three funnies? No. Uh, yeah, four, yeah. The alliteration is what made it work. Three. What's a comedy that starts with TH? Three trilogies? No, th three. Musketeers. The three threesomes. Oh, there we go. At threesome. Or just at. <sighs> at Orphan Tears. <laughs> at This Project is Reborn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cringe Clan replied to it saying, Randy is funny, and that makes four. Hashtag debunked. Oh, Jonathan SVG11 says, uh, Does James still hate Auntie Zula? <laughs> old, old school fans might remember Auntie Zula. Um, that's like, that's on Old Jar. Where's the Auntie Zula merch? <laughs> Auntie Zula, speaking of sleep paralysis. <laughs> With the guacamole <laughs> gameplay in the background. Yeah. yeah. But... <laughs> what what was Auntie Zula? Like, it's backwards messed up all I was I was just, like, messing around on Audacity, much like many of the early uh, Man Man Boy Bill Man tracks were. Yeah. Um... Like Cloud Beyond or whatever. Auntie Zula, I was just, I just like said some shit and then was just playing with some of the settings on Audacity. And but th there was like rhythm to it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it became like a chant, and it sounded demonic, and then it really upset James. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you actually think about it now? On I don't actually have any memory of what, what, how I came well, across... Wait, that up then, Alex. Oh, really? No, 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 no. I know Auntie Zula, but I don't know, have any no, do memory actually, of um, no, how... No, you need to listen to Auntie Zula I li- I and know tell Auntie us how Zula. you feel about it, because that's what the question is. Oh, I sound so nasally. James has just left in a big huff and a puff. Go and blow his house down. Do you, know, do you want to know why? Why would that be, no, Alex? Because I've unintentionally created the most evil, <laughs> scariest and funniest... Oh, it's not on old Joe. Quick warning before you actually play the clip. Right. This could summon the devil into your house. <laughs> it, that is fact. All right? So, just warning. All right? I'll play it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the actual audio clip because of the the, the, the last bit. Yeah, it's fucking it's just... really good. <laughs> but then, then you made it something else. That's the original. You no, made. That's all it was. And no, that was it. Yeah, no, because you genuinely it. No, because you did that stupid summoning video with, with Pickle Nick, with Auntie Zola in the background. That's why I hate it. It wasn't in it. it. it Auntie was. Zola's not in that. It, just, it straight up just wasn't in that video. Yeah, <laughs> you just made this shit up in your head. Yeah, probably have, but I like that. <laughs> but I don't know why that I left in the first time. Because it, it was your reaction to it. You were like so upset. No, yeah, you were genuinely like freaked out. Yeah, like scared you. No, I think it would. I would have probably left because a, I was a stupid little bitch ass fucker back then. <laughs> but also, it would have been your reactions to it. Barely <laughs> saw It is that bit. That's the money bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But I do like it. I like the original clip. But it's also like that. I like the unreleased minion song you did. That's Be- not unreleased. No, he he cut out all the scream laughing he did. And that's the funniest bit. <laughs> <laughs> that might exist somewhere. It does. On that laptop hard drive I've got somewhere. Barely there's, a, there's a chance that PD is on there. Hey, well, dear. and you refuse to actually prove that I'm not PD. Well, if it's on there, then perhaps the truth can be revealed. But then, Yeah, but you're not, you're not getting into the hard drive because you don't want to announce that I'm not actually PD. Well, you've announced yourself that you are PD. But well, yeah, because I announce anything. If people say I am PD, I am PD. I'm whatever they want me to be. Mm, so you're saying you manifest your own destiny in a way. Yes. Mr. OKFKSM Gur says, Shake my head, you mingers. Didn't even mention Kamel being in Kenobi. Yeah, what did you think of Kamel or Jim in Kenobi? Uh, a bit misplaced. I was... At first, I was quite annoyed because yeah. I thought they were playing it straight and then I was like okay at least he's like impersonating a jet I don't yeah know. yeah I like the idea of the character I just don't think he he doesn't get it yeah we've talked about that before like actors that yeah. get Star Wars he work. suits Marvel yeah because Marvel's very like Ooh, look Tongue at us! Cheek, like right. we 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 get that superheroes are silly. Yeah. Whereas Star Wars, you need to be like fully. You need to be a talented actor taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be a, like an actual like Oscar winning like character actor. Yeah. You need to be. You need to meet Hayden Christensen. <laughs> yeah. Um. Honestly, there's enough going on. Outside of that minor role, yeah, um, yeah, but like it didn't, it didn't annoy me, but I didn't think like, ooh, it, that was really good. I'm glad that was there. Mm. But like I said, I, I like the idea more, more of the character than I liked the implementation. Yeah, of him into the it show. was yeah. It kind of might have been more interesting if it was like a actor who wasn't known for being comedic. So then it was more, yeah, it would be much darker. Like someone impersonating yeah, Jedi yeah, yeah. Like, and manipulating people and not played for kind of laughs. Yeah, a bit tonally weird, but... Tanster Boy has a little, like, anecdote. Bringing this up again because I feel like it needs to be addressed. Especially since we're mid- midway through the year, it feels almost necessary. Ask any Jar fan and they'll say the same thing I've been saying. Recently, I noticed a few talking points regarding this. 
Besides its hidden virtues, I can't help but feel enlightened by the conversations about it. Even though we may never grasp the truth entirely, it's still quite intriguing. Alex said this himself. It has the capability of breaking barriers in terms of its scope. Reading every first letter of each sentence should better help convey my curiosity towards the potential realm. What? Um, the next one here is, uh... My balls are Richie. Hate it when he does that. <laughs> That's what. Wait, I, I hate these silly fucking meta comments. They're like, <laughs> they're like some stupid backstory where you've got to go and actually put effort into to know what they're talking about. Just stop. Was am I correct then in not understanding anything that you just said? Um, the last line of it was reading every first letter of each sentence should better help convey my curiosity towards this potential realm. What these potential are the letters? Realm? B, E, B, A. A. R. B. E. A. R. Right. Fuck off. Oh, so it's just bullshit? Yeah. Okay. My balls are Richie says this. Bear squared, cowboys. What is the jar equivalent of the fly episode from Breaking Bad? A fly episode could be determined from a few factors. Unique camera placement or subject focus, <laughs> shaking up the formula, having symbolic or metaphorical significance, originating from an impromptu decision, or your own understanding based on the Breaking Bad episode. I think Jim's Phantom Menace, the normal episode, Mel drops by, a stroll by Dingle Lane, I do declare, and the Jar Rogan experience could be possible contenders. If you feel the Fly episode is filler, then I'm curious what Jar episode would be the equivalent for you in that case. Um, the first 100 episodes of the Jar Media podcast is filler. Don't watch yeah, but the, them. The, the, the Fly episode isn't filler, so... Yeah, it, so I don't the, believe so it's filler. So if it's not filler, the best Fly episode is the Joe Rogan Experience episode. The Jar Rogan Experience? Yeah. The one where it was... Yeah. Mm. That's with the green Oh, Mel Gibson was unbelievably funny, though. Yeah, but that's not that's not the fly episode. That's yeah, the pizza it's on not, the roof episode. Mm. Yeah. What's what's the episode where like it ends with Walter under the floorboards laughing maniacally? Um, that's the curry episode. No, that's not the curry <laughs> episode because that's too bad. Like I said, the first hundred episodes of filler. It would have to be one of the. Oh, this is a different one. Have you actually seen Breaking Bad, James? Uh, I watched the first season, but Project Free TV kind of died <laughs> after the season two. <laughs> yeah, I watched the first season, but then it died, so I couldn't watch any more. Why don't you? I have no interest in watching it now. Even with the meme resurgence? Mm, yeah, that just makes me want to watch it less. <laughs> I, I'm struggling to think of like an equivalent, to be honest. Maybe the Phantom Menace one, where you're talking about your when you were like trapped in one location, kind of like they were. Hmm. The ghost. Yeah. That that is your that is your sleep paralysis demon. Is that ghost? Maybe I've never had sleep paralysis, and I've actually just been followed home by the ghost. Just haunted by this ghost, and now it's gone to me. Next, it'll be you, James. Don't. <laughs> Don't. I'm. Oh, I will die. I'll get scared. Our slash jar media says this. Bear afternoon, morning, evening, or night, boys. The following antidote was mentioned on the famed solo episode, and Alex said he might bring it up the week after when all the members returned. But alas, he fucking betrayed me. I've since forgiven Alex, so I thought I'd bring up the observation again for discussion. Given that most forms of chocolate come from cocoa beans, how do you boys feel about chocolate milkshakes being bean smoothies? Um, milkshakes are bad. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Jim? Um, uh, milk, isn't it? I feel like milkshakes are more ice cream than they are, like, chocolate. Yeah. Where's the chocolate in a strawberry milkshake? So, I guess it's part bean, part cow tip milk yeah I still think it's weird that we consume milk so yeah sure I I think it's cool. haven't, haven't you had smoothies like normal haven't you had a milk craving since you we did the regret episode you were starting no. to drink a lot more milk after that episode no yeah genuinely because I broke my my one rule to rule them all milk less 
I like that Instagram meme of the the cow being milked while it's shitting like shit bits into the milk. Into the milk, yeah. <laughs> That's what we drink, though. Yeah, we drink, we drink shitty, pussy, cowy, tit drink with shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's damn delish. <laughs> yeah. It's it not. It's you down when you when you're eating sriracha. No, drink water. Mm, drink water. I've I milk. Disgusting. It makes me want to vomit. Oh, James, want a tickle tummy? Yes, tickle my tummy, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cole three seven five says this. Hello, job bros. I've recently gotten a new job in a warehouse that has put me in quite a precarious position. The good thing about the job is that we're allowed to listen to music or anything while working, so often I'll throw on the yogs to keep me entertained during the day. The only problem is I think I'm slowly turning into the Joker. If I burst out into a laugh... <laughs> if I burst out into a laughing fit in front of my co-workers from hearing Bear Bear, I don't know what I will do. To that end, <laughs> to, to that end I ask, what are some of your strategies for not laughing when you're not supposed to? Dude, or where why hold it in? Or where it's sometimes that you have laughed in an embarrassing way. <laughs> I already know about the James Fart in Sainsbury's. That one got me pretty good. Cheers from Canada, Mingers. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. No, like, don't be afraid. Laugh. Laughing. Everyone loves people who laugh. No, be afraid. Be afraid. <laughs> yeah, be afraid. Um, Just carry a little card on you that says you can't help but laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. That's, that's cringe. Just don't listen to them and laugh as much as you like. No, make it make it obvious that you're like listening to something. So wear massive headphones, <laughs> like giant headphones that can't be missed. No, because then you're making it too obvious that you are listening to something. Then people think you're not listening to anything just to cover up to make you think that they no, think no, you're no, listening to something. No, no, no. They're not going to think in double triples because they'll be listening to their own. They're, exactly. They're, they're, Probably everyone in the warehouse is listening to the Jarcast, so they're all going to be holding in giggles. But but if if worse comes to worse and you feel a powerful, cringy laugh coming on th that needs to be hidden, mm. like bottle it up so it affects your breathing, <laughs> and then you'll start like hyperventilating, and and your bits will like creep out, and then when you feel it passing, cough. Just be like, <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah, coughing's one way. Um, or just th really think firmly in your head. Don't smile. Don't laugh. Or just laugh. Or what's the pain? What's the problem with laughing? Because what if your manager's over there and he's like, "Hey, what's so funny then?" Then you could be like, "Yeah, this this guy just got out of the shower and cock." <laughs> <laughs> no, have have a like funny cat TikTok. Just ready. No, because then you're watching something. Yeah, yeah. Watching. You, you're getting them in trouble. Getting who in trouble? The person who's laughing. Well, it's his responsibility. <laughs> yeah, maybe just stop watching the Jarcast. Maybe then you won't laugh. Yeah, you might. You might we might just be too funny. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just writing in to let you know I had stopped listening because it was just simply too <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of <laughs> the amount of those that are just inundated in the inbox. <laughs> right, penultimate one here from Edgy Hacker. For the love of God, can you please reveal what the project with the EC was? So Alex got, I was obsessed with this, <laughs> and I hated it. I fucking hated it. Which made which well, made hate me on a no. I hated Alex's obsession with the. Oh, okay. Like I I couldn't <laughs> handle it. Sweet. It yeah, was it a was sweet, awesome. but Alex was obsessed with it, so that annoyed me. Yeah, which made me know that it was a great one. Yeah, exactly. That's the like the Jeremy just it's just on my reaction that defines where it stands in the greatness <laughs> listing. It might be the furthest I've ever like personally taken like one of these weird like meme obsessions. That I have. <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> you made you designed the poster. Worn, we've worn the EC T-shirts on the cars. <laughs> <laughs> I just never addressed it. Wait, what we did? <laughs> yeah. Alex had like 30 printed. <laughs> I don't know where they are now. They Wait, what? Garage. Yeah. Did you not know about this? <laughs> well, I was on the episode, so I'm like confused yeah, of what. And there was the, <laughs> the old set, there's like the poster. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was truly gorgeous. That was, that was, that was a, that was a toy. We're gonna cut <laughs> this out. <laughs> this shit's only means of the Joker. <laughs> Turn him the right way. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> no, can we? Can we? Oh, can, can, can. It's a match, like okay. the fleshy tint. <laughs> okay, you know, no, edit all of this out besides the laughing and this, just so that they see this. So it's like, <laughs> like. One day people will put it together. Yeah, don't I, just cut this out. Don't let my expect that that that's all they need to know. But we need to find those shirts. I want to wear one. Oh, I know exactly where they are. No, get can we get them before I leave? Um, and finally, San Old Sen can uh, send us away by saying, "Don't have any suggestions. Just want to say thanks for such entertaining podcast. Started to listen to it this year, and it's really calming, especially while I'm wo while I'm working. Also helping to understand language even more." So thank you and bear bear. You don't want to be learning language from us. No, you definitely do. Understanding language? <laughs> <laughs> we are a language podcast. If you want to learn language, Peng Ting, that's a language, that's what you yeah, do want to know. That's the, that's, that, that's the, the uh, master key. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember this, EC and Peng Ting. <laughs> EC, EC. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Well, another mean, day, another you dollar. EC, you mean PT? Thanks for. Ding, ding. Oh shit! Yeah. PT, PT. That's thanks for watching. Thank you for watching us this episode. You absolute painting. Another day, another dollar. We'll catch you next time on the... Yeah, listening to the Jarcast is like being tapped on the shoulder with a peng ting being whispered ping in your ear. <laughs> The seeds. The seeds have been planted. The seeds. The seeds have been planted. The seeds. The seeds have been planted. The seeds have been planted. The seeds have been planted. The seeds. The seeds have been planted. The seeds. The seeds have been planted. The seeds have been planted. The seeds have been planted. Alex, get the mic. In a minute, I'm gonna get a little bit better mental. So he's <laughs> coming in to cause chaos. Look at him. He's like, mm, yeah, which one me, can I favorite. piss off? <laughs> Why the fuck does he do that? What? He's just like, I want to disrupt. <laughs> I want to piss myself off. Yeah. No, he's actually looking. He's like the most toxically masculine. He dog. is. He's a. He, he has a case of the toxic masculinity. <laughs> and now look, he's doing that man thing where they they stare at a fucking like corner for a bit because they don't get what they want. Mm, I'm gonna kind of like look in a different place. <laughs> I'm going to look in a different place. <laughs> I'm going to look in a different place. Like every stoic. Ah. I'm going to look in a different place. Gaming, gaming galore. Gaming galore. Gaming galore. Good. Where's the gaming galore hat? <laughs>